play um, Pixmon or Kabawan 1.20 on your phone, your, this is the steps. I'm using Android. This is a Z Fold 5. Um, in the Play Store, you're going to want to look up an app called Poe Jab Launcher. It's this app right here. Uh, once you have the Poe Jab Launcher, you're just going to open it. And in this menu, it's going to have, I think, 1.17 by default down here as an option. Um, you can just press the arrow up here, and you can press to create a new profile. Um, there's a few different options uh, for vanilla, uh, fabric, quilt, forge, or when it says create a mod pack profile, technically you're just you can, you're just searching up uh, mod packs. So, for example, I'm playing Cobble One. Um, so you can just download the actual Kabumon uh, mod pack, Fabric or Forge, um, or if you see the server that you play on, um, you can just download it from there. Uh, let's see. I wrote Kabumon wrong, so let me do like that. There we go. And this server is the server I currently play on. Um, so all I have to do is press install, which I already did, and then it'll pop up right here as an option. Uh, you just press play, and then it'll load up the mod. Depending on your um, phone, there are settings that you can look into to change some stuff to make it run smoother. Um, there's rendering scale so you could render at the game at 100% or you could render it at less than 100% if you want more performance um, you can allocate different amount of RAM I have as you can see I have four gigs of RAM allocated to the game um, also these buttons are not the default buttons um, these are the buttons that I set up by doing that you just gotta press this little settings button here you can press custom controls and then when you go into custom controls You can add a button, add a joystick, and do whatever you want when you're done. You can um, you just save it and then you just leave the editor. And then you'll get back into the game. Um, so I'm just going to join the server. Um, if it, your server is not here, you can just press add server like you would in regular Minecraft. And uh, type in the, the, the address. I'm going to join. This is the lobby of um, the server. This is... Uh, PokeHub, this is the Kabumon server. Um, if you press debug on your phone, you can keep track of like your FPS, so you can see my FPS up there. I kept my FPS at 70, um, just to make sure it's over 60, but just also to not make my phone push out any extra frames that uh, I don't really care for, so that it uses less power and doesn't heat up as fast. Um, so you can see kind of in this lobby area, even with all these buildings, um, it's sitting around 60, frames. Uh, I'm going to go into my my realm and this is my realm um, for example so I have my keyboards down here chat so if I press chat uh, I'm in the chat now and I press keyboard for example I can just type forward slash uh, word PC and it puts it down there for me and it's press done. It'll take me to the PC area. Um, sorry, I'm just using one hand, so it's kind of hard for me to move around. But yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Um, uh, buttons that I added on was up and down right here to toggle through my Pokemon, as you can see. Uh, I made a button for R, I think called a battle. Uh, sorry. You press battle, it goes back. 
Um, escape is the button I made to get to the menu here. And uh, you have all the, all of the, um, all of the settings from regular Minecraft is in here. Um, back to game, map, uh, inventory. Yep, and that's how you play Kabumon. Um, for Pixelmon, it's the same thing too. Just go to Pixelmon, just search up Pixelmon instead. Um, I can show you very quick. So I'm just going to exit out the app, reopen it. It's going to restart. Um, so let's create a new. Pixelmon. I'm just going to download this one right here. It's going to install it. If you want to see what it's doing, you can just press this tab to open it. And so this one is uh, Pixel One 1.20.2, as you can see right there. Uh, it's the newest version of Pixel One. Right now it's just installing the mod pack since it's new. Uh, every new mod pack you install, it's gonna go through this first. And then it'll take you back to the main screen. All right, so it's done. So if I go back to the main menu, if I open up here now, you're going to see the new Pixelmon mod. I just download it. I'm going to press play. It's going to download some um, other updates or anything else, like it would on your computer. Uh, you can go multiplayer if you want. I don't have a server yet right now, so I'm just going to go back and just do a single player mode. Just to kind of show you how that works as well. But it doesn't matter. Just go create a create new world. Now this is a little big because my, uh, my UI, I made it a little big, but you can always just make this smaller right here. Uh, it's on auto, so let's change that to like 2 or something. There you go. And this is Pixelmon. Uh, I think Pixelmon is a little bit more harder to run than Cobblemon because of all the stuff it has. But, oh look, I'm just one in a town. Um, okay, let's see. It doesn't... It's not letting me. There we go. So right now, with all these Pokemon around in this village, uh, my phone's hitting around 30 FPS. Uh, 
I don't know how much like changing like the graphic settings will help. So changing that to fast, uh, turning off stuff, uh, changing the simulation distance or the render distance. If that helps, we'll see. Um, yeah, it's still around 30, but this is definitely playable. I said this is with a ton of Pokemon and in a village too. And as you can see, it's pretty smooth. Let's turn that off. And uh, graphic wise, yeah, it looks pretty damn good. Um, the camera isn't the best, so it doesn't. There we go. You can kind of see, you know, like the detail is there. It does look pretty good. But that's how you play Pixelmon and Cobblemon on 1.20 on your phone.